Featured on today's Gun of the Week is the High Point C9, a minimalist, striker-fired, semi-automatic 9mm pistol with a more affordable price point than most other handguns in the same category. The High Point C9 is one of the company's best-known products and has gained favor over the years for both its low cost and relatively small size. These two attributes, along with its chambering for the prolific 9mm cartridge, make the C9 a good choice for those in the market for a handgun that is exceptionally budget-friendly. Its simple blowback operating system also makes the C9 a surprisingly durable and reliable handgun for the cost. The High Point C9's low price point is attributed to its simplistic and minimalist design approach. The frame is made of a high-impact polymer and the slide is made of a zinc alloy with steel inserts for reinforcement, topped off with a black powder coat finish. The C9 uses a blowback action similar to the design found on the Walther PPK line of handguns. With this blowback design, the 3.5 inch barrel is fixed in place while the slide and bolt absorb the rearward force of the fired cartridge. As a result, the C9 slide is rather large and bulky but this is required in order to keep the design safe and smooth shooting in its 9mm chambering. Due in part to the mass of the slide and bolt, the C9 weighs in at 29 ounces. Some consider it to be a bit on the heavy side, considering its otherwise slim profile and 6.75 inch overall length. Due to its slim frame, the C9 feeds from single stack 8 round detachable magazines. As for controls, the C9 only has three. This includes the trigger, magazine release button, and a slide stop lever that also functions as a thumb safety. The lever can be used to either manually lock the slide back or lock both the slide and the trigger if pushed up when the slide is forward. When the lever is pushed down, a red dot on the slide is revealed, indicating that the safety is off. As an added safety feature, the C9 also has a magazine disconnect safety that locks the trigger when the magazine is removed. On the range, the High Point C9 handles smoothly for a budget 9mm. The trigger pull is short and manageable for a striker-fired handgun, with an overall feel that might surprise some first-time users. The polymer grips on the frame are smooth but have finger grooves molded in that do a good job at providing some ergonomics. On top of the slide, the C9 comes with a metal front sight that is integral with the slide, as well as a polymer rear sight. The rear sight can be adjusted for elevation and windage with two screws. Both sights have their back faces painted, with yellow on the front and red on the rear, which creates a contrasted three-dot pattern sight picture. Despite the slide lock lever requiring manual activation, the C9 has a built-in slide catch that holds the slide open after the last round is fired. The weight of the C9 slide, which makes it a bit front heavy, can actually be a benefit in that it helps keep vertical muzzle rise under control. For those looking for an exceptionally affordable semi-automatic handgun that can take some abuse for personal protection, the High Point C9 is certainly a contender. For more information on the High Point C9, visit highpointfirearms.com and stay tuned to AmericanRifleman.org for more on guns and gear.